What the hell happened here? Well, if you're gonna play with salt circles, you better get them right, lad. I see no bodies. Maybe the wolves took him. Can you not see the symbols on the wall? No. Take my hand. I want to try something. Whoa. Is that possible through our bane rings? They allow us to connect the invisible and the incarnate. Through this bond, what I see I bestow on you. Are those webs made of spectral stains? Let me. Things we must have missed. The dead hide more from the living than we thought. This is going to be helpful. Did you feel that? It's close. We can fight them together. We did it. We did. Thank you. I wasn't much use. You were. I promise. Get better. Things will get better. Spectre, it's heading for that corpse. <laughs> it's 
nasty, though. Watch out. Spectre position. Get lost, won't you? Just in Eden Town. What happened here for the veil to be so thin? War, invasion, or colonization of a land that's vulnerable to haunting. Oh. Hunting gear. There might be a lodge nearby. You took yourself up there very fast. That might take some getting used to. For both of us. Andrea, will people be able to tell I'm haunted? Perhaps. If they had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers. These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Aye, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours m I think I see a crossing. Over there. Signs of civilization. Look at me. Nice place. Wolves and spectres aside. Don't you have wolves and spectres in the highlands? The high but ours have the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. Bad news. The bridge is out. Then we'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. There's a pattern to them. Don't you see it? It calls to me. I have strong ankles, but at this height, we're gonna make it. I have strong ankles, but at this height, we're gonna make it. Over here. You can climb down. And up and down we go. Those stains. I could have grasped at them had I been stronger. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back, and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you. Get rid of the other specters. There's someone inside. Someone tainted. Ah! 
Ben, you're back. Beg pardon. I thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad. But no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You, uh, hunter? hunter? Of sorts. Red McCreeth. I'm a banisher. Liking the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Who's Ben? Another trapper? Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. Where did you meet Ben? We found... What? He's important. All right. What locks in the shadows? That bench. What are you doing here? The woods. When... And I... Ma. Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. He's not fussy. His meat is crawling. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. Are these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. Oh, there's it. Farewell to you, Mr. Lynn.
He's so confused. I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe he was always alone. Maybe Ben is made up. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. And I sure row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. Oh, this quick mist is thicker than a Scots dragoon. This boy, that's, that's better. And a little terrifying. I see fine. Is it just me you I felt it too. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those op- Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Didn't know that would happen. You got away with it. Let's find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died? Mm, traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. I summon you! Oh, shite. No step from the shadows. You losing your edge? I raise for now the veil of shadows. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't no, give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What are you doing? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you! Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. Something's nearby. Where is it? Oh. 
Oh, shy on a short stick. Bloody hell. The land's been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? I feel something close. Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Poor, desperate, starving boys. Sometimes you must do what it takes to survive. Something's here. Hidden. Did you feel that? It's close. This on your size. Don't just stand there. Move. heading for that course. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? Leave? No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift sometime, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. But you did try to leave, didn't you? You packed up and left. Do you not remember reaching the cliff top? Cliff top makes a fine lookout. Game comes to the water to drink. You can pick him off if in your aim be good enough. Has he lost his mind? Or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. Farewell to you, Mr. Lynn. Farewell.
Yes, still disgusting. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. This won't be able to resist my second voice. You're not Jacob. Yes, still disgusting. Who's you? My name is Red McGrath. The Scot. You? I'm Thea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. Beyond help. Where's Jacob? You tried many times to leave this place. Not like a woodsard. Jacob's. I. We. Ada. But... We thought him lost in mind and reason. Who not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. Oh, when things changed, we got stuck. <laughs> These godforsaken woods. Thank you, Benedict. But I... Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Who oh, there to you, Jacob? Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he?
Day after day, you walk hungry from your nightmares. You tried to escape and failed many times until you broke. You killed your friend, Jacob. What? No. No, that's not what happened. Leave me be. Aye. That's what you said to Benedict before you pushed him off the cliff. But that's not all, is it? You killed Benedict, then you ate him. You were starving to death, yes, but you made your choice. You're not real. You're not real. You're a monster. Benedict lingers. End his suffering. Face the truth. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. My sins, I deserve no better. I fail God. I fail my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red. If we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Jacob Lind, you believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend, the man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, 
where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. I never thought I'd blame anyone. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. It's not too late to change our minds. I took a life. It's no small matter, even if the man deserved it. Maybe we should reconsider. When I ascend, we'll be separated. For the rest of your life. Maybe for the rest of eternity. Never again shall we stand side by side. This we, this thing we have, shall cease to be. That settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Soon I'll reclaim my life. We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my 
oath I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. That's it. I think I can jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Right. Never better. <sighs> Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. <sighs> that jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here neither, as far as I can see. Thank you. 
Watch out. Spectre position. I'm a It's nice here and all, but do you see a way up? Swarming spectres. Force them to appear with the right words of power. Present yourself! This one, all right. Imaradas and tubes. Oh, shite. Noku hey. There's more of them. Think you could take on a ghost? They never learn, do they? Did we miss a few? Vector before it possesses the corpse. Blasted pest. This bite's not easily chewed.
feel a draft. From the invisible. It's nice here and all, but do you see a way up? Here. That's high. Trust me. The pattern needs to line up. I need a better angle. Close my eyes next time. Oh, hell. 
those bulbs. Are you all right? A bit better, right side up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind mentioned a hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Frozen. Who are you and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water and the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that case, banish. You may escape the trap yourself. Wait. What? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. A bulwalker. It's shite. Hugging all the fun. This place is empty so long it's rotting.
signs of life ahead. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Vanisher, you made it. a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye, well thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Better than killing you for food, I suppose. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skill. Our hearts are low. Well, give me... Prudence Hake. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but... The truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. 
Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right. right. Got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the dark woods. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? She goes up. She... Huh. What would... The night... In your foray, what the cock? Bo. Can I a night? Your bad dream. My a beast. Is it? Tell me. Though we've heard, we hope Zro we can live here. We. Oh, rest. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. Slept in wasps. And it smells better than Jacob Lind's lean to. The worst thing about Jacob Lind was not the smell. Freeze. I won't freeze. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's finish here first. What? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. Sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. That drill bit is dull as a hammer.
can't afford just no tools. These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shit. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. Startled. Oh well, ain't you a sight? Who are you then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner too. Nelly, Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. Year round. Fortune left some hours ago, and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. The forge is empty, no tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? The forge uses a lot of water. But that doesn't explain the salt. It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? My lord, is my fortune in danger? Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it, I hope not. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? The beast is... She cares. Why else would you... What can you tell me of... Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to... I have a feeling about the bed. I 
ghost left a blurred fragment of its memory. Turn out and turn up! Focus, Red. Unveil yourself! That's not the ritual I'd have used. Now the past is mine to see. No ghost threatening Nelly. That's her husband. It seemed that he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So, the black blacksmith is gone. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Think of the blacksmith and his wife. A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose?
bloody mongrel. One less to worry about. Come out to see. Uh, are they are they gone? <laughs> oh, thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk, a bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no, I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? Sure. Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. I thought they sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. So, you're the blacksmith? Uh, yes. Good, Ned. Me does. Come. Romance. Do it. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank, thank you, you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> thank you. <sighs> I'll catch my breath and head back. Ghostly voices stay in this place. Ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. Right. Even the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us.
spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Odds are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail. Is that? Yes. Something's here. See, the blacksmith has gone. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith, he's lying. We sent him home, I hope he's no danger to Nelly. Nearby. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross.
We need to look for somewhere to cross. I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's trigger the trap. Did we miss a few? Watch out! Spectre position! Enough, Nelly. I warned you. Uh, I no. warned you this would happen again. Yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you live. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. What do you want to do? I love birds. Killed a man. In his own house. We should talk to his ghost. I summon you now! I failed this one all right. Show yourself. Oh, mine.
We are the Banishes Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times, I'm tempted to agree. Who are you, and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Erin. Oh. Watch it. Brad, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Mine, now we know why Fortune Heaton died. Mine, oh mine. You're the bastard. The murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow were haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. My mine, mine. You again. Piss off, Heaton. And no more scheming.
If we want to stop before we met, this place will do. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Vanisher knows? Hush! Someone's coming. Vanisher! You're back! Mr. McRae. My man came back, and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No! How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been on board. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him, in the end. But I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir. Not me. You're not Fortune Eaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. 
You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man, a repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. Always on me. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor. And his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Nellie Heaton, you murdered your husband to find freedom, but instead unleashed his vengeful ghost upon you and the man who stole his name. Where is the justice in this? I'm not here to bring justice. I'm here to end a haunting. What claim have you on me? You're no better than Fortune Heaton. A pox on you. A pox on men and their cowardice. Yeah. A pox on us all. Beneath the tyranny of bad men, I lived. By it, I now die. No, 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 no! My friend! My dear friend! Away with you! Get out of my sight, murderer! So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. 
So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it. Note each landmark. By journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan MacRaith's little spitfire. What was at my heels? Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. And my big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than her, and more wild too. In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, had she grown. 
Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry. You're what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. What are their names? <sighs> what? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomide is my sister. Temi is my brother. Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. Thank you. 